As motorcycle riders, we've all been a near crash incident situation where the front wheel hits a, a small or a large bump and what happens is the screen hits the helmet or the chest of the rider. In Aurora equipment, in order to minimize the effects of such an event, we designed the screen safety system which allows the screen to move forward in case it comes into contact with the helmet or the chest of the rider and uncouple in order to minimize the effect of such a hit. We named our system by combining the three S's, screen, safety, system. S3 consists of three different main parts, the friction controller, the screen pin holder, and the screen brackets. This is the heart of our system, it's the friction controller. It allows the rider to change the friction between the controller and the screen pin holder. By changing the friction between these two parts, the rider can set the force at which the screen will move forward in case it comes into contact with his chest or helmet. Let's explain the relationship between these two parts, the friction controller and the screen pin holder. You have two possible setups with these parts. The fully locked setup, where the two parts cannot move relative to one another. And the friction control situation, where you place the friction controller into the slots of the screen pin holder. And then you can control the friction between these two parts. By turning the knob clockwise, you increase the friction and by turning the knob anti-clockwise, you decrease the friction between these two parts. Let me give you an example. On this setup, we have the knob fully untightened, which means minimum friction between the friction controller and the screen pin holder. This practically means that the screen can be moved relatively easy. Even with the air pressure, when you're traveling on the highway, the screen will move backwards. So it's quite easy to move the screen in this setup. On the contrary, if you have the knob fully tightened, a much higher force is needed to move the screen forwards and backwards. There is a third, small, but very important part in the system, and this is the arc clip. The absence or the presence of the arc clip defines if the screen will pivot forward or stay in place when hit. A lot of people ask, why do you have to have the arc clip in place? The answer is four letters, time. When you are either on a rally event or on a race, you don't want the screen to be hanging around on your bike uh, in this position, because then you would have to stop and put it back in place. This means that you would lose time, and in a racing event, you don't want this to happen. In the lower part of the S3 system lie the two screen brackets. These can move upwards and downwards, and you can control the friction between the screen brackets and the navigation tower using the two spring-loaded M5 bolts. In order to minimize friction, but most importantly to prevent damage on the navigation tower, we have installed PTFE accessories on both parts. 